Hey everyone, how's it going? So I have this old MacBook Pro 2010 MacBook Pro 17 inch. This does have the core i5, I believe, or i7. No, this is the i7 from Intel. It has the backlit keyboard, the butterfly keyboard, which I really like. And you can't really tell how old this is because it's well kept. It doesn't have any dings, dents, scratches. I never had a case for this, but it's very heavy. You can see it has the mic in, headphone jack out, which they brought back, the SD card, two USB, then you have your ethernet cable and your MagSafe. So they also brought that back. They took that away for about five, six, seven years or so. And then they brought it back. You have your lightning port and your data port. Lots of port. And guess what? I also have a CD-ROM, a DVD player. Pretty neat, right? Not that you need this anymore. This has the 512 hard drive. So not your SSD, but 512. You will max out on eight gigs of RAM. What I'm gonna do here is actually update the RAM. It came with four and 512 on the memory. I'm gonna switch that out to SSD. So this video will just show you how to do that. And that's pretty much all you can do. I did switch out this battery already after about seven years, six years or seven years. It just wasn't holding a charge anymore. And I'll post a link where you can find all this. This battery was about 50 bucks and it holds the same charge as the original battery. And then it has two fans here. So with the older MacBook Pro, you actually can upgrade things yourself. The latest MacBook, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, uh, you can't really upgrade it after you purchase it from Apple because everything is pretty much still shut and it's hard to get out. So this, to upgrade the RAM, this is the two, two four gig RAM. You just open up the clip on each side, you press it outward, and this is one of your four gig or two gig RAM. And then again for the second. Just wanna open that clip up. It's hard to do it with one hand here. Yeah, take those two out. So you can get these RAM off the web. Um, you can upgrade it. At least for the 2010, you can upgrade it to eight gig of RAM. The 2012, uh, which I also will be upgrading, have here, this is the 13 point something, 2012 version. We'll be updating this one. As you can see the backlit. Uh, they don't do this anymore, but this is really nice, especially at nighttime. And we're gonna upgrade this to the 16 gig of RAM, which it maxes out there. This will be the eight gig of RAM. And then swap out this memory, this hard drive from the rotating disk. Don't know what you call that, but update it to the SSD. So that will increase the speed. All you need to do, unscrew these Phillips, the small Phillips. With the 2010, um, with the cover in the back, these are all Phillips, small Phillips screwdriver screws. Same thing with this. Take this two apart, and then you lift this up. And then to detach this, you just wiggle this out, just like that. And then then start a new one. So you wanna transfer that data into an external hard drive and then uh, clear out. You can either buy a Kingston, this 480 gig SSD. Also got a five, is this 500? Yeah, 500 gig Samsung SSD. So we'll try both of this. 
um, we'll install one in each and just see how it performs. So as for the RAM, I got some generic ones. I couldn't find any good one online, but these are generic. It has good review. Um, we'll test that out. Two four gigs and two eight gig. And we'll install that. And that is really all you need to do. You just, again, reverse the installation. Once you put this in, you slide it inward like that and you press it down. That's how you install it. Same thing with this one, press in and push it down. Solid state drive, be very similar. Take this one, plug it in, and then slide it down and screw it back and you're done. Pretty simple process. The, the 12, um, actually the 12, 2012 version MacBook Pro, this actually has a star screw. I guess Apple realized people were upgrading it instead of upgrading through them, which is a lot more expensive. They're using a star screw, which I also have. So you're gonna have to purchase this. A regular Phillips screwdriver won't be able to unscrew this at all. And you just have to purchase this. You can get this offline as well. It's about six, seven bucks for these three, which is a good deal uh, for what you're trying to do. And really, you don't need a new MacBook. You just need to update the RAM. Now, if you max out already, uh, you're at 16 RAM, or in this case, eight gig of RAM, and you already uh, upgraded your solid to solid uh, state drive, and the computer is still slow, it's probably because Apple is no longer supporting the software update. Um, so you're sort of out of luck there, but you still can maximize this uh, if you have just regular um, files that you need to upload, download, do some photos, nothing heavy, nothing like 4K or 7K. Uh, these definitely can't handle it. Uh, definitely not the, the 7K videos, but 4K will work just fine. So just wanted to share with you all on how to update your your computer if you have a macbook pro or even uh, macbook air should be similar i'm not sure how to uh, t take out the back cover with the latest model but the older version it should have screw in the back for you to take off and it's just basically a cover aluminum cover that you just unscrew there's eight ten screws that you have to take out and then just lift up and you have access to the RAM, the memory, really the only two things you can update. Thanks for watching. Check out the link in the description on what to purchase to upgrade. So this is the 2010, this is 2012 MacBook Pro. Catch you all next time.